Happy Friday, everyone. It couldn't be more like a, uh, Thanksgiving. Right now it's snowing in our backyard here in Fly Creek. And as I drove in the driveway, there were eight wild turkeys right in our driveway. I'm Cider Mobile. Here's my mom, Barb, better known as Grandma Barb. And we're doing her creamed onion dish for Thanksgiving. Right. Traditional dish. Traditional dish. Something that we look forward to every year is when Grandma brings her creamed onions, and we're making this with our extra sharp, creamy, millage New York State cheddar. So, what? How do we start this, Mom? We make a roux. Talk about a simple roux. So that's going to be regular, whole, uh, all-purpose uh, flour, and we're mixing in our 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 butter, our flour, in our butter. To make a roux, you're adding a little bit at a time, Mom? Yes, I love to use my slotted spoon. Oh, kind of like a sifter? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So all that, our whole recipe is right on the website. And you, we use the baby pearl onions. And we can get the pearl onions either in a jar or frozen. Um, I particularly like the frozen kind because they're a little bit smaller and they're not quite as done because when you put them in a jar, they tend to get a little bit uh, soft. So... We have our uh, four tablespoons of butter for this recipe, and okay. you have about a quarter cup of flour just to make your roux, right, Mom? Right. And I think we're ready for the uh, cream, the half and half. Half and half, all right. So we have two cups of half and half. Boy, this is going to be really be rich, but that's why we like it on Thanksgiving. And you also bring it on Christmas, too, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> In our special dish. <laughs> that up a little bit. We're going to turn that up a little bit to cook in our cream and then... That's good, that's good. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more flour. flour. So this is just a little at a time so it doesn't get chunky, right? Right, exactly. All right. Yeah. You can test that when you're making this sauce. You can see how thick it's getting. Plus the probably the cheese will thicken it up oh, a little bit too. Oh, the cheese does. The Cheese is the magic ingredient. Right, especially <laughs> our cheese. We we age about three tons of cheddar at the mill. Um, it comes from the McAdam Cheese Company in northern New York. We it two years old, and we age it at the mill extra three years. So it's an extra sharp, creamy New York State cheddar. More cream? No, I think we're pretty good. All right, a little bit, just little a little bit. bit. Yep. And then we'll add our cheddar. And we shredded this ourselves right here. So it comes in a... Uh, extra sharp, and we call this white wrap. And you've always had cheddar at the mill, even before Brennan and I started taking over. Correct, yeah. And that all came from my grandfather had a store on Main Street in Cooperstown, and it was like store cheese. Every every merchant had a, a wheel of store cheese, and they'd wrap it up with a piece of string and a white wrap. So that white wrap carried through to the mill, and we continue to wrap it in white butcher paper. Uh, we do ship it on our online store at flycreekcidermill.com, and I think it's the cheese that really makes it this recipe. It is. See how it's uh, wow, nice it's really and creamy. It up. Real, I also cheese. added a little bit of uh, pepper. 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 All right. And see, it's wow. getting to be a real. That's a nice cheese meat. sauce, and you probably even use the same cheese sauce when you're making mac and cheese too. Right? Oh yes, 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 definitely. Yeah, I think we're. This is a cup and a half. Okay. All right. So we'll add that cheese. It never hurts to add a little bit more cheese because <laughs> I love this cheese. <laughs> All right, so we've pre-greased uh, our, our, our yep. casserole dish. Should we put the onions in first? Yes, in the casserole dish? Yes. Sure. All right, we'll put the onions right. These are the canned kind. So put the onions, we drain them. Put the pearl onions in there. Oh, look how nice. Oh, wow, Can you so see? thick. How nice and thick it is. Wow. It's perfect consistency. Let's and then I do just. Mmm, my God, that's great. I touch it, do a touching pink of, uh, pinch of nutmeg. Oh. Your grandma taught me to do that. Grandma Jane? Yes. She's the one that also came up with the cookie recipe, our molasses crinkles that we sell on at the mill. That's mm. Grandma Jane's recipe, and I remember her kitchen mm. like this. She made all the cookies, and every flat surface was filled with those molasses cookies. 
And we still use her recipe, and those are made scratch right in our bakery at the mill. And you can also buy those online at flycreeksidermill.com. Right. Can you handle the flame? Okay. So we're gonna, what are we going to do with this? Put the port right on? Yep. yep. All right. Look at how nice and creamy. creamy. And nutmeggy. Mmm. Almost like a fondue. Yeah, it's With creamy. onions. Wow. There you go. Mmm. So just, just like that. That's just it, right? Just like that. And but just Grandma Jane Michaels taught me how to put paprika on top like right. that for garnish. So we're going to bake that at yeah. 350. I'm going to put that in. And... Mmm, that's a big, nice dish. To save some time, <laughs> we made one in advance. And this is what it turns out to be. Our creamed onions. And this is the... Tell us about the uh, crock. This is the crock you always bring at every Thanksgiving, and we always joke about it. It's always the same crock. Because I got this crock for a wedding anniversary 56 years ago. <laughs> you want to taste them? Mmm, <laughs> look at that. You're going to eat them all, I know that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Boy, the onions and that cheddar. Delicious. Phenomenal. So we're going to have these at Thanksgiving. The recipe is on our website at flycreekcidermill.com. Just click on the recipe link right on the top footer, the top header of the, of the website at flycreekcidermill.com. And we hope you enjoy this family tradition in your kitchen as much as we enjoy it when my mom... Right, Bill. It. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. And remember, you can buy all this ingredients at flycreekcidermill.com.